Hi, this is Meredith Mustard here from To Imagine Studios, and I'm going to demonstrate uh, creating a concertina booklet from a single print. Um, and I've pulled out some prints that didn't quite work out for me, but I think will make interesting books because they have different textures, some different images, different colors. Um, I think I'm going to go with this one. So this is 8.5 by 11. It's uh, printer paper, from Staples or uh, Hewlett Packard, HP papers. And I get the high end, so it's a little bit heavier weight, maybe 24 pounds. And very smooth, because it makes, makes nice prints. Um, especially with image transfers. So you can see you know, this one has some image transfer in it. But... We're going to start with this. Um, so this is how it works. Um, I use a bone folder, but you can use another tool. You can even use the side of a, a pen. A pencil doesn't work so much. To do the folds, a knife, you'll need, uh, some kind of a craft knife, and glue stick, and a ruler. A ruler. There it is. So here's how it goes. Here's your print. First thing you do, and you do this very carefully, is you fold it in half, get the corners to really match up. This is going to give you a, a much tidier book if you're careful at this stage. And then crease the fold. Open it up and use that crease as your guide to fold in from each side. Once again, being as careful as possible to fold accurately right to the beginning. Want these two corners to meet up with the other ones. Okay, we got it. And open it up. We're going to do the same thing here. I'll do it from this side. Get those corners right on the dot. I line them up and then I pin them down with my hand. Get fold. Once again, use that center fold as a guide. Fold these in. This is real basic. Simple directions. Hold this side in. Okay, now we're going to cut it. We have to make three cuts. One goes from this point to the edge. So there's going to be a line there. And then on this side, let's do it the same way. Same thing. So you have two cuts. And then the middle one will cut from the other direction. Same way, just through three panels. Okay, and I want to make these cuts as accurate as possible. Same way I was as accurate as I could be with the fold. Let's see, we got right into there. <clears throat> Oh shoot, I just did it backwards. Okay, so that means I'm going to cut from the top on this side too. And from the bottom in the middle. Was that confusing or what? Basically though, you always have the two end cuts in one direction, the middle one from the opposite direction. Leaving one panel completely intact. These end panels and that end panel. So this is what it looks like. And you fold it. <clears throat> and what you want to do is fold it so the, the back forms the cover. So the book is inside. You're going to start with any, any one of the corners. And it will be an accordion fold. Back and forth and back and forth. And I do that a little bit crooked cut there, so that's not great. Um, let's see, I'm going to just go back and forth. 
following this. And some of the folds will be in the direction that you originally folded them, and some of them you're going to be folding them back against themselves. But just keep going. Zigzag, zigzag. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. And then the last panel will be the bass, the back corner. So this is the part that you don't see anything. I'm going to give it one more fold of the bone folder and it will open like that. Here's your front page, next page, next page, next page. And because there are borders on this, um, there's always going to be this white sort of contrast, which I enjoy, and it's also a place if you want to write into it with a, a black pen, you can do it there. Now the next thing <clears throat> to make this a little bit more stable is you go to the backs and glue these pieces together. So I'm just going to walk through this book. So that goes like that. This one folds up. I'll fold it. Glue it together with my glue stick. Next one is there. If it's a little confusing in the beginning, you're right on target. <laughs> Took me a little bit to get used to how this works. Don't do this, the whole thing can kind of can spring apart. You're always putting it back together. Um, sometimes it's fun though, if you want to give one of these books to somebody to not attach it all so they can see if they pull it apart, it is all one sheet. All right. That is the whole thing. <clears throat> now, the next thing that I do is in order to make it look just a little bit finished, that's the spine. And this is a little cheapy way of doing it, but I've done this. Just stick on some of these labels, and these are out of date. They have the wrong address on them. binding. And another thing that you can do to even strengthen it is you can take another print. Let me get one. I could make this be a cover. And um, so basically, I can do this with a ruler, but I'm not doing well. Let's see, let's do it with a ruler. telephone book. I collected them when they still were a thing. Occasionally you can still find one. Very good for gluing. <clears throat> and make a cover. I need to trim it off a little bit more, I think. 
food. Sorry, just stick it in there. And here we have a little book with cover. <clears throat> and each one, when I do these, is a surprise. I don't know what I'm going to get. Sometimes I'll have a print and I'll think, oh, this is going to be really great. And I open it up and go, eh, not so much. And other ones are just like magic. So um, that's with a, that's how big it is, let's see. This is two and three quarters by two and a quarter, two and an eighth. Um, that's out of an eight and a half by 11 sheet. That's how big it would be. Now, if you take a bigger one, you're gonna have a bigger book in the end. And that's the way it goes. And this would be really interesting. You'd have some color and you'd have some black and white bits. Um, here's one that I did right before this, which was from a print that had some really beautiful colors in it. And it had some pretty images of birds. Okay, so you can see a little bit of that. Oh, this page I didn't draw. That's what happens, the whole thing comes apart. There you go. Just have all these different little bits and pieces. And that's that's it. Um, you can see more videos of, of books and things and, and on YouTube. Um, you can YouTube me at Meredith Mustard and um, I'm to Imagine Studios and see more. Thanks. Bye.